Hello everyone, my name is Melissa and I am a student outreach ambassador for the transfer opportunity program here at UC Davis. And today I'll be walking you through how to fill your transfer admissions planner, otherwise known as UC TAP. And again, this is a really useful tool if you have just started community college and plan on transferring to a UC school in the near future, or if you are applying um, to transfer uh, right now because uh, the application period has already started. Um, so again, this is what the transfer admissions planner um, homepage looks like. You have the option to create an account if you haven't already, but if you do, you can just um, select the UC tap login ID that you prefer. I personally um, just use my email. Let me put in the rest. And it will take you to this page. Uh, and again, I uh, was a UC Davis student and I applied um, for um, admission in the fall of 2022. Um, this is the page where you will also be submitting your um, TAG application if you're interested in doing the transfer admissions guarantee. But also, this page directly imports all of the information that you self-recorded into the UC application. So with that, we can get started. There is a very handy um, menu tab both on the top and also on the side. It's pretty much the same. So, and there's four sections. So there's the about me section. There's a section for um, academic history. There is a my transfer plan section uh, where you can also review and, and like look at the transfer admissions guarantee um, page. And there's also uh, this very last section for any messages that you can get and also just to review everything that you have self-reported. So let's start with the about me section. This is the section where you can report all of your personal information, such as your full legal name. Again, this is the name that appears in official documents, such as a passport or a driver's license. And if you have ever have a lived name, a name that you prefer to be called by, such as your middle name, um, you can also have the option to select yes and um, record it, or if you have um, been married and let's say that your high school transcripts don't show the same name that you have right now, this is again um, the place where you can record this information. It'll give you a request to put your um, birth date and your current mailing address for um, correspondence purposes, and also uh, an email and primary phone number section. And I encourage y'all to please use uh, an email that you check frequently. And if you have already created an account using one email, you can use the same email when you are uh, applying for UC admission with your UC application. Um, and also it'll give you the option so that you can receive text messages. And also this last section is really important. This is your student ID at your current community college. Uh, some students will be enrolled in multiple colleges at the same time. So if that's the case, you can choose your primary college. And this can um, vary um, depending on your situation. It can be the community college where you have the most um, units, or it can be also the community college that you plan to um, tag from if you do plan on doing the transfer admissions guarantee. But again, once you have filled all of this out, you can click save. And then we can move on to the next section, which is the demographic information. The demographic information section is totally optional, but it's really important because it allows the reviewers of the applications to have a more comprehensive look on who you are as a student. And also it can be really handy for any support programs or scholarships that are offered for the demographics that you have selected. And again, this will include questions such as the language that you grew up speaking, uh, whether or not you have passed U.S. military service or have been a dependent of a U.S. military veteran, 
um, foster care or formerly incarcerated history. If you, none of this applies to you, you can just click no and move on. But if it does apply to you, um, feel free to fill this out to the best of your ability if it applies to your situation. It'll also give you questions such as the formal education of your parents, going from no high school to graduate studies, and also some tax information such as if you were claimed as a dependent on your income tax returns. Um, typically, um, students um, are considered independent when they reach 24. So if you're under 24, even if you have filled out your um, taxes independently, you can um, click uh, dependent. And also the number of people in your family for these two um, past tax years. If you have ever um, been um, headed uh, by a single parent, this is where you would have the information. Again, please make sure to fill this out as it applies to your situation. For the household gross income, um, this can be a rough estimate. It doesn't have to match exactly what is reported in your taxes, but make sure that it's somewhat close to the range that um, was reported. And there's some old, also some questions regarding um, gender and um, ethnicity and race. So again, um, I encourage you all to please fill this out, even though this is an entirely optional um, section because it can come in really handy when it comes to being eligible for support programs. And again, this pass, this last section is if you're interested in um, receiving um, information about some resources regarding like AB 540 or LGBTQ or unhoused resources. Um, if you're interested, please click yes. Uh, otherwise, leave it as a no, and then you can click save. And then we can move on to the next section, which is the support program section. And this is for any university um, support program. Um, this is divided by the specific schools and the programs that they offer. So if you are applying to said school and you're interested in receiving information about that program, please select um, I am interested. Or if you're not, you can always um, delete the information using the clear button. Um, I highly recommend um, looking at transfer resources. So for example, if you're applying to Davis, I recommend that you select um, our program top um, as a, either a participant or interested. And towards the end, you will also find additional support programs. So if you are currently enrolled in a California community college and you're receiving um, support from any of the programs listed um, here. You can also put that you're a participant and then you can select the institution where you have received that support. And if you have received support from other programs, there's also um, a section here where you can manually input that information. And then once all of this is selected, you can click save and then we can move on to the next section which is the academic history section. The account settings is just so that you can delete um, and update your password if you forget it. Um, but I'm gonna just move on to the academic history and their schools attended. Um, you can list all of the high schools that you have attended and also if you have attended multiple high schools and also if you received a diploma and it, it will ask you for um, the duration of time attended at set institution. And also it will give you the option to select what type of school you attended and whether or not you received a diploma such as a high school diploma or an equivalent like a GED. And also the date that you have received that diploma. And again, once all of that information is filled out, you can just click save and move on. The same applies to any colleges and universities. Um, these both include California community colleges, community colleges from out of state, and also for your institutions, both um, in California or out of state. 
And it'll also give you uh, a section if you have ever taken a leave of absence between graduating high school and enrolling in a college or a university. Um, it will give you an option to explain your situation. And this can be either for work purposes or for taking care of family. It doesn't matter. You can just put a brief description if you have ever taken uh, like a gap semester, a gap year between high school and college. And also it'll ask you if you have, um, or if you will be a US citizen or permanent resident at the time of transfer. And this will be applicable both for AB 540 students and also for international students. It'll give you the options to uh, answer these questions below. And again, to reiterate, um, this will not in any chance affect your chances of admission. This is just self-reported information. And after all of that is done, you can click save. And then we can move on to, honestly, the most important part of this whole process, which is um, your coursework and exams. So for this, we highly recommend that you have a copy of uh, unofficial transcripts from all of the community colleges that you have attended on hand, and also a um, copy of the exams that you have taken, if you've ever taken any AP or IB exams. So for the coursework, it'll allow you to um, select the term, the school that you have attended, and report the course number, the course description, the units that that course was equivalent to, and the grades. So for example, um, I attended Central King Delta College. So I can put here um, in the lookup portion, um, like the, the type of course, and it will give me a drop down menu, and then I can select what type of course I took. Um, also, I can manually input this information, especially if you have attended a non California community college or a four year school, you have the option to manually input that information if you don't have a drop down menu that appears automatically. And um, also, if you are going to manually input that information, I want to please remind you to put in everything exactly as it appears on your unofficial transcript. It's really important that all of the information that you have there is a carbon copy um, as you self-report it here. It doesn't matter if you have ever um, received a failing grade or have withdrawn from a course such as I did here back in the fall of 2019. So please select um, every single class that you've taken and every single grade that you've received from said classes. Um, and again, if you have taken a gap between the time where you took your last classes and the time that you'll be applying for transfer, it'll give you a drop down menu where you can explain your situation. And then once that is completed, you can click save. Please be as thorough as possible when you're detailing any gaps in education. And with that, we can move on to exams. The exam section here is for any AP or IV exams. Uh, it'll give you the option to add an exam. Uh, for example, if you've taken IV exams, it'll give you a drop down menu of all of the exams that are available, and then you can um, select the subject and also the exam level, the exam date, and the score that you receive. Um, and again, even if you have received uh, a bad score uh, in an exam, um, whether it's AP or IB, but it shows in your record, um, please uh, report that. Because if you don't report every single thing as it appears in your unofficial transcripts and your official records, it may have an impact on your chances of admission. So once all of this information has been manually inputted in, uh, we can move on to the next section, which is the transfer plan. This is important, especially if you are applying right now for the admission to the fall of 2025 cycle, 
to any UC school, you can select the term that you plan to transfer to. Uh, you will notice that there's also winter and spring terms, but please be mindful if your school offers um, transfer opportunity during that term. And you can also select any UC campuses that you're interested in transferring to and also the intended major. And it'll give you a drop down menu so you can select which major you want to transfer with. And also here is a question if you're interested in any UC transfer programs such as um, the transfer admissions guarantee and Pathways Plus or the UC Transfer Pathways. But once all of that information has been selected, you can click Save. And um, you do not have to worry about this, but if any of y'all are interested in applying for TAG, which is the Transfer Admissions Guarantee, it opens up in um, September 1st, and the date to submit your TAG is September 30th. So this is where you would also um, apply for TAG. And it'll ask you to select your California Community College and also the term where you plan to transfer, the campus that you plan to transfer to, and the major. A big reminder for this, two things. One, please select the same major that you plan on transferring to here in the where and when I plan to transfer. Please make sure that it's the same major in your tag. And also be mindful of the term that you plan on submitting your tag to. Uh, we will put a link down below for your tag matrix for the year of 2024 to 2025 cycle. And again, this tag matrix will look something like this, and it will give you information if tag is accepted um, for fall or if it's also accepted for um, any winter or spring term. So as you can see for Davis, we only offer tag for fall, but some schools may offer tag um, during the spring or winter, such as Merced and Riverside. So again, we'll put this link down below in the YouTube description. Um, but again, you do not have to worry about tagging right now, but once you are ready to apply uh, for transfer admission, you will also be given a link to your UC application. And if you have not created an account, you can create an account now. The application has been open since August and it closes in November 30th. And the application looks something like this. Um, and you have, again, very similar sections. So if you want to save some time in filling out this application manually uh, under academic history, you can click this menu and you can click on admissions planner um, and um, it'll look something like this. It will give you an opportunity to select your tap login ID and the tap um, email address. If your tap email address is different from the email address that you use to apply to your UC application, um, this is where you can um, self-report it. In my case, my UC tab email address is the same as my UC application email address. And with this button, you can import all of the data that we have self-reported under the um, transfer admissions planner. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can also receive some messages and you can also review your information. And once you apply for tag, this is where you will receive um, whether or not your tag was accepted. So again, good luck during, during application um, season. I wish you a very um, lucky transfer journey and thank you for watching this video.